Oh, and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you that how different car defect scanner found this car engine and electric errors and here we can see that I have three of those first is Maxican and then there is iCarsoft and first last one is Creator and let's look at how these found these Mercedes-Benz defects and we start this scanner with with this best scanner what I have now and this is iCarsoft is this maker and this car OPD this OPD scanner there is software for this my Mercedes-Benz car and this is important this is like specific uh, OPD scanner where is program just to my engine and this device cost about 300 US dollars this is a little bit more expensive and let's go to install that device firstly and this job starts so that we need this OPD scanner like I have and then we have to connect this is interesting thing because we have to connect these cables this OPD this OPD 2 cable to cars this connector and this is always interesting thing to look and search that where this socket and connector is and in Mercedes-Benz cars it is in that area and let's go to look that area closer next okay and there is my scanner and then when we look in that area there's one specific connector in here what I have to open let's look at what it is it is it is little bit in here in that one that one it opens in this way and now it's free and we can see this connector array in here and now I connect this cable when in engine power is off and it this goes only one way in there a little bit difficult position but now it goes nicely deeper and it is easy to do and in same time when I start and I connect that right this my OPD scanner start to work excellent and let's go to look at area next okay and now when we are using this air carsoft scanner what is quite this is good software I I need to choose this diagnostic or then this OPD too and I use these arrows and in that way I can choose this one and then enter and now I am my power is off that there is no any electricity and sometimes these scanners can read these things in that way but let's look at what is my car situation now it's loads this program it comes okay quite slow there are those different standards okay let's see that what it can found it is almost end it takes time quite long and let's see okay and now it says that linking error and that means now that now I have to use my car key and I install this my key in here and I turn power on now power is on and let's do that again it's, it says that ignition is on okay 
and I press now this back button and again diagnostic and enter in here and let's see that how happens now okay and now it is working and there are really codes found five okay five codes and now now when I press this I think that now I'm thinking that okay and why I can't choose this maybe enter okay I need to press this enter okay and there is read codes now I like to read okay and first code is P two zero seven four manifold absolute pressure must air for low throttle position higher load good okay that kind of error and then I press this arrow there is one of five then it's p244 a it says that particular filter it is like catalytic converter there is issue okay and then I press again there is P0471 exhaust pressure sensor there is range performance defect okay and then manifold absolute pressure mass airflow throttle high higher load defect P2074 and then next P04 Seven one exhaust pressure sensor range performance. Okay, this is la last one. Okay, and this was first one, then second, third, fourth, fifth. P two o seven four, and there is actually two of those defects. What are same? Very interesting. Okay, there's okay, interesting. There are defects many times. Okay, let's go to back. And then there is this erase codes that I can remove those and let's do those next. Now when I like to erase this, I use these arrows and there is this my area OPD and now I look these defects and there is one code and I go to look this using this enter and then there is read codes first we read and there is code 2074 manifold absolute pressure mass airflow throttle position correlation at high load this error and now when I like to delete that I press again this back and there is irid erase code and I press next this enter and there is let's look at erase codes sorry on that one and again enter engine off okay now I have to stop my engine engine is stop and then enter and now it it is trying to remove that okay it says that there is still this defect Okay, I have difficulties to remove that. Okay, normally this happens, but now I have this mechanical, this component is back. Okay, let's see that if I start this my engine, now I start my engine, let's do that again. What happens now when engine is running? Can I erase that? 
let's see. No. Okay. Now it's think that there is defect code. What I have to remove. Okay, that kind of thing and and sorry that I could not remove that, but this was this information how to delete and erase these codes. And then we really read those codes in this Mercedes-Benz car and that's we need to go in this diagnostic area. There is this my arrow and in here and then I press enter in here and then I choose my car. There is Mercedes-Benz in here and enter and then it says that this is this software person and then I need to choose in here my Mercedes E-Class double V212 E I press this arrow there's first E and this one E I212 and then enter and then sedan and my is diesel and that first one blue tech and then we use smart scan and now this system is looking for all possible defect areas in engine in transmission and airbag and so on and there is 46 areas to scan and let's look at what it found and soon this system is ready and if there is issue that it stops then we have to repeat that but my one works well and now this is like they have found these things and I can go through all of these. First one is engine control and I press en enter. And now it checks that check that what what foul foul codes I have in there. I press first it is read foul codes. And first one is that 2074. And it is signal component. It says that this component is bad. And this is really one component in Mercedes-Benz car. And it is hot fill mass air flow sensor. It is that one. Okay. And then there is actually six of those errors. And let's go next one. And then boost pressure deviates. This is like a defect code 226353. And what that defect code means? It means now that there is a boost pressure. This what is in turbo turbo sensor issue. The component is de deactivated. Okay, it is like not in use. And then we go forward. Next one is P two four four A seven A historic. The pressure differential diesel particular filter is too low. Leakage or defective seal was detected. This is like now this catalytic converter or particular filter issue in my engine. Okay, and let's go to the next one. And then there is historic exhaust back sensor, pressure sensor. And this is again this uh, catalytic converter issues. And then historic. Okay, and there is really defect code P2074. And how we can found and find that kind of defect? We have to go and we have to connect this my OPD scanner, what is in my hand. And then I check this OPD check and I press enter in here. And now it 
speaks with my car and note that engine is running. This is important. And then we look again and we can see that there is now one code in here. One. Codes found. And then I press enter and there is read codes. And again I press enter. Now it's talking and there is my code. Manifold absolute pressure, mass airflow, throttle position, correlation at higher load. Okay. And that means now that this is related to turbo charger pressure. And this code is really on and I have small issue in my car. And this is really small because I can see in, in here but no codes in there. And this is this interesting because normally codes goes in that area in here. Okay, and that kind of information to you my friend and the advice and hint is that if we purchase good scanner like this I car soft what we can purchase in internet in, in USA and in Europe then we can found these defects in here and also in this car soft there is the specific car diagnostic module that we can look even more accurate this information when we have this I have in these modules installed in my car soft they are softwares and now when we look in there like Mercedes Benz and there is this version software I can see that what kind of more accurate issues I have and now I have to choose in here this my car model it takes a little bit time it's E-class E-class car double V in here that one and then again enter and then sedan and diesel and then first one and I use now manual scan because this is like this engine control module this computer issue and let's look at what we can find read faulty data and now there is just similar 2074 and now it says very accurate that this is just one component B2 divided 5 this is this is hot Feel mass air flow sensor. It is bad and I need to really replace one component and then this defect is away. This is nice. And then there is second defect. What was always almost more hidden. The boost pressure deviates from a specific value. Component is deactivated. And this is one turbo charger thing and this is also in now defect and that means that if we use better scanners we can found more defects and this is the point and hint and advice in this my video thank you my friend